how to create a complete e-commerce website. Hey, my name is Fabio. Don't forget to subscribe as I do videos every Tuesday and Friday about making money online and helping you become great. All right, so this video is a part two video. In the first video that will leave a link below, I showed you how to install the store and connect the domain, how to, to name the store and uh, put the logo of the store in it. I showed you where to set up the payment methods and I, I gave you a quick overview. Now in this video, which is part two of the video, I'm going to show you the everything else that you need to have your store running. So I will go uh, on how to add the products and how to manage them, how to configure the contacts about us, uh, the terms customer service. Also, I'm going to show you how to integrate Mail Boss into the store. Also how to configure the menus, configure the images on the front of the page, how you can change them and how to link them. And also I'm going to share how to configure also the payments a little bit more on that the shipping methods uh, and uh, the tax rules. So with that being said, let's give it a start. Let's go. So first thing we want to come here to catalog and then categories here on the categories is all the, the menu that is shown here on our website. So each category can have a subcategory that is shown here on the website. So if we click on this one, gear and watches, there's nothing there because as you can see, there's zero right there because there's no item in there. But if you go to gear and then bags, there's going to be two items right there. As you can see, there are the bags down there. Now here, if you want to, we let's add a subcategory. Let's call it Fabio new menu and hit save. Okay. So there you go. Now we click on this one and let's add another subcategory right there below that one. And let's call this one Fabio new sub menu. All right. So if you come here to the, to our website, let's refresh real quick. And as you can see right here, we have the menu and the sub menu that I've just created. Now let's move this menu to move. Just click on it, hold it, and then place it where you want it to be. So let's put it right there after what's new. Okay. So it moved. Now let's see on our page. Let's refresh. And as you can see, the menu went straight after what's new right there. See, there's no items on the menu. That's why it's, there's no products right now. I can even add another subcategory even under this one. So let's add a new here. Let's call it Fabio new sub menu under to save. Yeah. Let's go back here. Let's refresh. Let's see again. Here's our menu. We have a sub menu and another sub menu. So you can, you can create as many sub menus as you want on each one. Now here on catalogs, let's go to products. And on this page is where you see the products, right? You can see all the products right here. And then here, the type, you can see the type of products. You see it has single product, it has downloadable product, right? It has a, you know, a configurable product. And so that is good that this, these products are here. That way you can see how they are set up. And to add a product, you just come here to add button. And uh, you need to add all of these fields like the product name right here. This is the code for your store, like to keep track. And all these fields right here, right? The content you have here, the image you can add in videos. Let's go back. These products right here are a great example um, for you to follow, right? See, for instance, uh, this is, let's go edit this one. And the, the, the fields are all there, right? So you want to see how it's done. That way you can do similar. See the quantity and all that stuff in there. Now let's come here to uh, categories. So in categories, let's go ahead and, you know, put this product on the category that we've created. So we can add on the first menu. We could even add on the second one. And uh, yeah, we can add a, in, as, in as many menus as we like. 
as you can see it shows all the menus there so you want to make sure you, and this is also a the, the image right and you have um, a lot of things you can do here like uh, search engine optimization you can add tags there and keywords you also have uh, you know upsells and uh, cross sells there you can play around with it now let's go ahead and save let's come here to the website and let's see and let's go into our menu when we click here on our any of our menu it sh now we should have the product that we added here it is so that's the product that we've added to this category now we could add like promotion products to this specific cat category right this is just an example of how you can change the everything with the menu right so let's go here to products again you can always edit right there also you can come here to the save button this arrow and you can save and duplicate so you can actually duplicate this product and then just change the fields or here you can also select and delete the product if you want you can search by a product there all right so now let's configure the contacts let's go here to store and configuration here on general contacts make sure you change here the uh, your email then here on configurations at the bottom make sure you you change all these fields right here these are your internal now let's save it now here let's uh, you know change all these ones contacts about us customer service let's do that now let's change the contacts so let's come here to content then blocks let's look for here this one contact info and then let's here select on the right and edit this is what's going to show to the public so make sure you change all of the, the numbers right here the content your number the emails and all that stuff and save now let's go again to content and then pages this freaking bell okay and then uh, here about us let's go ahead and select this one and edit and again here on content you want to make sure you change that um, about us a little bit about the store right Okay, now also you want to change you know the customer service and to do that you would come here you know to select and edit again that's the same as you do here also private policy you want to come and edit the same here right now let's go ahead and integrate the mailing boss which is the autoresponder of mailing boss to the store so here you want to select yes the token you want to come to uh, build our dashboard and then you want to come to the email uh, mailing boss on the menu on the left click and then go to uh, integrations copy this integration key copy token then paste it there and uh, hit save again the freaking bell all right and then here uh, it's not uh, connected because uh, i've connected before and i disconnected so there's i have to wait but it's gonna work and once you refresh it's gonna show all your lists right there at the here on the list and you select the list that you want and then save on top now let's come here and then let's uh, add here my email and subscribe so I can show you where these emails go so thank you for your subscription right there so it was subscribe so here on the back office um, let's go here to marketing and then um, newsletter subscribers and as you can see here is our email that we've just added there we go it's there it's working now here our marketing you have other things right newsletter templates and all kinds of things that you can then check it out now this is the images of the page let's configure these images so let's go to content blocks and let's look for the home page um, so this one home page block uh, so we come here to select and edit okay here at the bottom as you can see these images right here that are showing right here are the exact image that are showing on our page right here as you can see same images everything the same right so what do you want to do is you want to you can change all of these image for whatever image you want and you come to the image you click and you click this icon right here and you can uh, type in right there the URL for whatever category you want to show like a promotion or whatever category you, you create right and you put update there and um, and it will then link to whatever category you want it could be uh, right any category you choose like the one we've created it could be one like that and instead of having just one product you could have like the promotions that you talk about on the first page 
and so you can change the image and you could even change the sizes and everything uh, here and do a completely new page here too. So save. All right now let's go to configure the payments and um, shipment. So let's configure configuration here, source configuration. Let's go to sales here and then payment methods. Well, I've showed you already this on the last video on the part one, but the thing again is uh, you can you can configure here the payment process. So this is PayPal, you click configure here. And again, you add your email, your PayPal email right there. Now you have, uh, of course, other methods like Brain3. You can, uh, you know, configure. Of course, you need to create an account with them and then come here and, uh, you know, put all the details in there. And you have other ways here, right? Whatever payment methods you want to add, you can come in here and add. Now let's go to uh, shipping methods. Now on shipping methods, there's all kinds of shipping methods here, right? And you want to set this up. So this is the flat rate. You have free shipping, UPS. See which carriers you're going to work with and configure them all here. Create an account with, for FedEx and you, you put all the info in there so it can generate all the things automatically. Now let's go here to uh, tax. This is a very important one. You have to set this one up in order to have the everything running. And so here, um, well, first of all, I, I'm very bad with taxes. <laughs> so you need to talk with your accountant, right? And uh, he will tell you exactly all the fields you need to add in here. So you do this here, right? There's even this uh, vertex settings that um, it's a software. I think you connect there and it will send automatically to your to your government or whatever. So you have all these fields that you want to come here and, you know, check them out. But there's something very important too on the tax, which is the tax rules. You definitely have to set this up. So let's come here to store stores and tax rules uh, is rules you can add to tax and first again you have to talk with your accountant about this if you want to add any rule you can add there and then the tax zone and rates this is very important for instance we have here uh, see on the top one US Canada and we have here the rate and so you could come here and add new tax rate up here that's where you set up the tax rate right there and um, yeah there you go now if you come here to the dashboard here is where you can see everything, right? You can see the, the best sellers, the products that are selling the best. You can see the revenue, the shipping, the most viewed products, the new customers and customers. And uh, that's it. That's all you need. All right. I hope you like that. And there you go. That's all of the things you need to set up to have your uh, store running. Now, if you still not sure and you think it's a lot of work and you want me to put your store running either on Magento, this tool, which is right I recommend, but I could, I also know how to set it up on um, Shopify. So if you need me to set it up for you, um, you know, you can schedule a call with me. I'll have a link below you so you can schedule a call if you want me to set it up for you. And uh, with that said, thank you very much. Don't forget to like this video or thumbs down if you don't like it and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and if you know somebody that will benefit from this video maybe somebody needs to have their store online please share this video with them that way they'll know how to do it there we go thank you so much for watching on oh, by the way i will leave also a 14 day free trial of builder all below which is the tool that i use to build this magento store with so I'll leave a link below for that. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget how awesome you are. Always believe in yourself. You know, not long ago, I was on a deep depression for almost a year. And to get out of the depression was really hard. But I made the decision to get out of the depression and to win in life. I was crying. And I did just that. I became vegan, I started my self-development journey, and today I do full-time affiliate marketing and I freaking love it. So the power of believing in yourself, it's incredible. That decision that I made crying that I was gonna win in life, I made the decision that to believe in myself, in my ability to figure think, things out, and I did it. And so if I did it, you can also do it. You can do this. I believe in you 100%, my friend. 
Cheers and have a blessing day.